Hello, saints. Greetings in the exalted name of Jesus Christ. I am Minister Jaret. I welcome those who will listen into this channel, this YouTube channel. May you receive a word from God that will transform your situation to his glory. Today, I want to speak on the topic, there is still room. Glory be to God, there is still room. So for the past few weeks and, and months, there are some diabolic, there were some diabolic incidents that happened. And so even recently in, in, the, in Jamaica, a young mother and her four children were brutally murdered. And so many, because this happened, many people took to social media to express their anger and their frustration and, and spoke very candidly what they would do to destroy the life of the perpetrator of this horrific crime. And so when I heard them talk, the scripture that came to mind is Jeremiah 17 verse 9. It says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked because vengeance is what belongs to God. Vengeance belongs to God. So there also are those who prophesied the, the punishment and the judgment of God that is coming over Jamaica. Many took to social media to say Jamaica's time has expired and there is no more um, repentance and, and grace available for Jamaica. But today I want to stand in the gap with those who are praying for Jamaica, praying for their country and praying for the lost souls in Jamaica. I want to stand in the gap and to know that those, there are still praying warriors in Jamaica that have not bowed, not surrendered or kissed Baal by coming into agreement with the ideologies of the powers of darkness. And so as Abraham pleaded with God and Abraham said, if there are 50, will you destroy the city? Abraham went and searched and he couldn't find 50 righteous people. And then the number dwindled down to five. And Abraham asked God, even if there are five righteous, will you still destroy? And God said, no. And we know the end of Sodom and Gomorrah. We must understand that there are two kingdoms at war. The devil is working over time, but God is still moving. His word declares the eyes of the Lord are everywhere beholding the evil and the good. The word of God also in Romans 20, Romans 5 verse 20 says, Where sin abound, grace does much more abound in. In Luke 14, verses 16 to 24, we read that there was an inv invitation to a great supper, but invitees rejected and made excuses why they couldn't partake in this great supper. And so the master instructed his servant to go quickly into the streets and the lane way, lanes of the city and bring the poor and the, the maimed and the lame and the blind because... He wanted them to partake in the supper. And so after the servant did all that and brought in those people from the streets and, and, the, and the laneways of the city, he said to his master, there is yet still more room. And so the master um, gave him instruction to go to the highway and go to the edges and compel others to come. And so when we look at edges, we can, the dictionary define edges as a line of closely spaced shrubs, or sometimes trees are used. They're planted and trained to form a barrier or to make the, to mark the boundary of an area. That is what uh, an edges, that's what they do. They form a barrier and to mark boundaries. So may we... May, we, we, so we may have won souls for Christ. We may have won our close friends and neighbors and our family members by going out into the streets and into the laneways of the cities. And we won those people. And so I would like to 
label those ones as the ones that were their hearts they told you know they were in sin but they told white lies and maybe these are the ones that had you know did petty theft and maybe they used some foul languages and and so they quickly received the word of god and so they came to christ um without any problems and without any issues but there is still room left for more people to come and so the word of god said they should go out into the highway and so when we look at the highway the highway another word that you can use for the highway is an expressway and it is usually very wide very wide and and so on that highway you know we have um we have all kinds of vehicles. We have cars, we have trucks, we have tractors, we have trailers, we have old and new vehicles, we have expensive vehicles, we have inexpensive vehicles, and most of all, these vehicles are powered by some kind of engine. They're powered by some kind of engines. And so God is telling us to go on the highway. And, and so you cannot go on the highway by yourself. You cannot go on the byway uh, in the uh, byway and the, the highway by foot, you cannot go by horses, you cannot go by your own power. It requires the power of God to bring deliverance to set the captives free. Because the word of God said, it's not by might, it's not by power, it is by my spirit, it is by God's spirit, it is done. So maybe those people that are in the edges, living on the edges and living in the byway, they're the ones that are, that needs those barriers to be broken down from their lives those are the ones let's say those are the ones that are called those ones they have those gruesome sins those sins that are abominable those sins that are despicable the ones that seems too horrible to receive forgiveness but today we want to understand that the word of god in second corinthians 4 verse 4 says those mind the God of this age as blinded who do not believe. Can the church understand that we need to go out into all the world and preach the gospel? Can we stand like Jeremiah as watchmen on the wall? Can we stand in the gap with those who are believing and are praying for God to intervene in the lives of sinners, unsaved, ungodly men, asking God to intervene in their country, in their community? Can we say, like the song of Solomon, the songwriter, though millions have come, there is still room for one. Can we say that today, that though millions have come, there is still room for one. God has not shut heaven's door. There is still room available for even one more sinner to come in. One more sinner to come in to, to know God. Because the word of God says angels rejoice. Even over one sinner that comes to God, angels will rejoice. God has room for more sinners to come in. Let us not wipe out the sinners. Let us not write them off because God has not write, written them off. He's begging and he's pleading the church with the church to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. So let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray the, today and ask God to intervene. Father, in the awesome and mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask of you to let your power proclaim liberty to those who are in captivity. We say, let the day spring from an eye, visit them and give them light. Give light, O oh God, to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death. O oh God, as you speak to Ezekiel in Ezekiel 36, verse 25 to 27, O oh God, you spoke. And I ask of you, Lord, as Ezekiel spoke, Will you sprinkle clean water on them and make them clean? Will you cleanse them from their filthiness? Will you give them a new heart and put a new spirit within them, O oh God? O oh God, I ask of you to take away the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. 
Almighty God, will you put a new song, a new song, a song of praise. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we come before you and ask of you by your spirit that you will bring conviction. Bring conviction to the hearts of stubborn men and, and heart of stone, O oh God, that have, have been reveled in sin, whose minds the God of this age has blinded their eyes that they cannot see Jesus. O oh God, we come in the name of Jesus and we stand on behalf of Jamaica right now and we stand on behalf of those, O oh God Almighty, that are living in sin and they're going about their way, their merry way, not knowing oh God that there is a hell to shun and a heaven to gain Father in the name of Jesus we pull down the lies of the enemy the lies the enemy has told them that there is no God that they can live any way they want to live almighty God we are coming in oh God almighty you said that we should go into the edges the highway and the edges oh God and bid them to come we are coming for those oh God that have barriers set up we are coming for those oh Almighty God, who have, oh God Almighty, embedded in sin and they just cannot get out. Oh God Almighty, those sins that have considered gross and, and, and abominable, Almighty God, you know the ones, oh Father God, the sins, oh God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, but your word says uh, sin is a reproach to any people, but righteousness exalts a nation. We pray, oh God Almighty, for the blood of Jesus, uh, oh God Almighty, to be sprinkled over Jamaica. And we, we ask you for mercy and we ask you for grace. Uh, oh good God Almighty, for you said in your word, where sin abound, grace does much more abounding. Oh God Almighty, send your salvation power. Oh good God Almighty, the spirit of conviction, to convict them of their sin in the name of Jesus, uh, that they will know you, Father we pray that you oh god almighty will touch the hearts of many men and women the preachers oh god the evangelists the missionaries the prior warriors almighty god let them continue to stand in the gap let them not grow weary as how elijah grow weary and you told elijah that i have seven thousand prophets who have not bowed to baal and i say god almighty let them not grow weary in well doing for in due season they shall reap if they faint not uh, i pray god almighty you will give them strength for the journey you will give them grace oh god to move oh god into territories uh, they will move oh god into areas oh god where the gospel have not been preached uh, that men and women oh god can hear your word and they oh god almighty can repent for you said how can a young man cleanse his ways but by taking heed to the word of God is only through your word when they take heed to the word of God then liberation then changes oh God the operation of the Holy Spirit can cleanse them and sanctify them afresh and put them in their right minds in the name of Jesus we pray for the presence and the power of God to visit the island of Jamaica right now oh good God almighty curtail oh father God the powers of darkness let your power intervene in the name of Jesus and change oh God the lives of men and women father we want to thank you for giving them grace and strength and thank you for the prior warriors thank you God for the preachers and and the teacher and the evangelist oh God that are going out that are going out oh God almighty into the highway and the byway and the edges and bidding them to come father give them grace and give them strength oh good God almighty let your power rest upon them let them let them not go in according to their own accord but by your power lord jesus go with them and accompany them that lives will be changed and lives will be transformed and that they will said here is what uh, what does hinder me to be baptized oh father god in the name of jesus hear what we cry as we stand oh god together as one we stand as a unit we stand oh god as your body oh god crying for jamaica this day that lord jesus you will remember jamaica in your 
mercy. Just like how Abraham cried for Sodom and Gomorrah in the name of Jesus. We are crying out, oh God, for Jamaica today. And we are saying, oh God, be merciful. Be merciful. Be merciful and save those that, oh God, needs to be saved. Save them by your grace. Save them by your mercy. Save them by your power. We give you all glory and honor and praise in the awesome and matchless name of Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. This is Minister Dorette reminding you to get connected and stay connected with God.